everyone, welcome to another edition of Go Wild with Matthew. It's super cold outside, so let's travel to some place warm and learn about a super cool bird, the flamingo. To help us learn more, we have Miss Padmore's grade one, two class. Ms. Padmore's grade one, two class is from Ord Street Public School in Toronto. Come on, let's go. The first question is a popular one. My, my friend Dakota in Mississauga, my cousin Josh, and Ms. Padmore's grade one, two class. The question is, why are flamingos pink? As young birds, they are born more of whitish gray. Their plumage slowly turns pink as they mature. The pink to reddish color comes from the same type of pigment that makes carrot orange. It's called carotenoids. This is found in their diet of plankton, brine shrimp, and blue-green algae. They mainly eat from shallow waters, stomping their feet in the water to rise up their food. It takes about three years to get their pink and red feathers. The next question from room 118 at Ord Street Public School is, what is the flamingo's natural habitat? Flamingos like being, being near salty lakes and lagoons, but can also be found in mountain areas and also flatlands. They love the water. So as long as their food sources are around, you will find the flamingo. Flamingos can be found in a variety of habitats and adapt well to both cold and warm climates. The next question we have for Miss Padmore's class is how do male flamingos attract female flamingos? Flamingo colonies split into groups. The males perform a synchronized dance where they stand together, stretching their necks upwards, uttering calls while waving their heads and then flapping their wings. Miss Padmore's class wonders, can flamingos fly? It's a very common misconception that flamingos can't fly. But they have the ability to fly hundreds of miles to look for food. Jonathan asks, what is a threat to a flamingo's survival? The main threat to them is the disturbance of breeding colonies, especially by habitat destruction. Tropical storms and hurricanes can be lethal to flamingos who live on the coast. Flooding also reduces food sources. Some of the predators that a flamingo has are raccoons, jaguars, and birds of prey. Tales from the Zoo! Flamingos are a member of the bird family. They are omnivores because they eat both plants and animals. They don't weigh much, only about 9 pounds. Flamingos build nests that look like mounds of mud along waterways. At the top of the mound, in a shallow hole, the female lays one egg. The parent takes turns sitting on the egg to keep it warm. After about 30 days, the egg hatches. Flamingos also tend to flock together. Wherever they may be, colonies in the wild will contain thousands of birds. When you see flamingos at the zoo, like here in the America section of the Toronto Zoo, you will find they are placed with at least 15 to 20 other flamingos. This is because this is because flamingos thrive on social interaction and do not do not well if they live alone. Flamingos are social birds. This helps them avoid predators and is better for nesting. In the wild, flamingos live 20 to 30 years and sometimes over 50 years in captivity. That's old! Tales from the Zoo! Did you know the, the flamingo is the national bird of the Bahamas? Did you know the backward bending of, of, of a flamingo's knee 
is actually its ankle? The knee is out of sight, but further up the leg. Did you know a flamingo only lays one egg per year? Did you know a flock of flamingos is called a flamboyance? Did you know there are over six species of flamingos? Did you know males are slightly larger than females? The next question from Miss Padmore's class is why do flamingos only stand on one leg? Flamingos frequently stand on one leg, tucking it, tucking it in close to the body. Animal behaviorists do not know why they do this. They think it might be to conserve body heat. Is, why are flamingos' beaks curved? The bill is pink with the black tip that is bent. When a flamingo sees something tasty, it plunges its head into the water. It twists its beak upside down and uses it like a shovel. Their tongues aid in the process. That's it for this video on flamingos. I hope you enjoyed it. For my, for my next video, we are doing a special on the Dawn Valley. We've teamed up with some local photographers to tell you that you don't need to pay a lot of money to see beautiful wildlife. Their pictures will amaze you. And remember everyone, go wild!